You're watching the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International with Samar Ajawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa has returned to the Kingdom of Bahrain after a visit to the United Arab Emirates in which he attended the inauguration ceremony of the Louvre Abu Dhabi Museum. His Majesty the King departed the United Arab Emirates and was bid farewell by the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Zayed Charitable and Humanitarian Foundation and Abu Dhabi Sports Council President Sheikh Nahyan bin Zayed Al Nahyan, Bahrain's Ambassador to the United Arab Emirates, Mohammed bin Hamad bin Sagar Al Maouda, and Embassy staff bid His Majesty the King farewell. The Minister of Interior, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, inspected the site of yesterday's oil pipeline fire in Buri village, which was successfully controlled by the civil defense team in cooperation with the Bahrain Petroleum Company security and safety team in record time. Attending the site alongside the minister were the head of the public security and a number of security officials. The public prosecution was informed of the incident and security services started to investigate the causes of the fire. Evidence gathered by the inspection team has confirmed that the fire was a deliberate act of terrorism intending to undermine the security of the kingdom and its citizens. The civil defense team in cooperation with BAPCO's security and safety team successfully extinguished the oil pipeline fire which broke out near the Buri village. The cooling process is now complete, mitigating any risk of reignition. The Minister of Interior confirmed that the Civil Defense Team dealt with the incident in the record time. The Minister expressed his thanks and appreciation to the security authorities, BAPCO, and to the citizens who cooperated with the response team, whose collective actions ensured that no casualties were incurred. The Minister reaffirmed that the Ministry of Interior's utmost priority is the safety and security of all citizens and will spare no effort to maintain public security and safety. The Minister stressed that the fire is the latest act of terrorism performed by terrorists that are in direct contact with and under instruction from Iran. A further investigation is currently underway to identify the perpetrators and bring them to justice. An evacuation plan was activated with the assistance of the Northern Governorate Police Department and accommodation was found for the local residents affected by the fire which damaged a number of buildings. The local road network remains closed while the investigation continues and the general director of traffic calls on motorists to take alternative routes until further notice.
The General Director of Civil Defense, Brigadier Abdelaziz Rashid Al Amr, highlighted that 21 vehicles and 78 personnel were deployed to control the fire in the oil pipeline near Buri village. He said that the civil defense teams reached the site within three minutes. The General Director asserted that the presence of the Minister of Interior and the Chief of Public Security at the site motivated the civil defense staff, hailing the cooperation of the public and the concerned authorities. He stated that as part of the evacuation plan, around 400 individuals were evacuated with the assistance of the security forces. Some of the families whose homes were damaged were sheltered at a school and then moved to Al Karama home. He said that the National Disaster Management Center was activated and experts of the Bahrain Petroleum Company were asked to close the main supply key of the pipeline. The concerned authorities at the Interior Ministry were notified to secure the areas and the surrounding roads and the Electricity and Water Authority to take the required procedures. The General Director confirmed that the fire did not cause any injuries while flames were 40 to 50 meters high and the heat spreading over an area of around 500 square meters. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Al-Naimi, attended the 39th session of the UNESCO's General Conference during which Audrey Ozule was officially appointed to the post of Director General of the organization. The Minister on behalf of the Kingdom of Bahrain congratulated the new UNESCO Director General, affirming Bahrain's support for UNESCO's efforts to promote the culture of dialogue, tolerance, cooperation, peace, knowledge and culture. In addition to its election among the deputy presidents of the general conference the kingdom won the membership of a number of committees including the intergovernmental committee for physical education and sport the information for all program committee and the education for all committee on the sidelines of the unesco's general conference the education minister met the officials of the unesco's king hamad bin isa al khalifa prize for the use of icts in education and was updated on its latest developments the minister affirmed Bahrain's keenness to strengthen Bahrain's participation with UNESCO in line with the leadership's interest to develop education, sciences and culture. The Minister of Housing, the Ministry of Housing organized an awareness session for citizens benefiting from the social housing fund Mazaya, accompanied by an exhibition that witnessed the participation of all banks and real estate development companies participating in the Mazaya program. The Minister of Housing, Basim bin Yaqub al Hamar, stated that the tremendous success of Mazaya program since its pre-launch phase in 2013 until today highlights its results and features to citizens noting that the statistics indicate that over 6,000 citizens received a qualification certificate to benefit from the program. He underscored the government's support to Mazaya program, noting that the partnership activation efforts with the private sector coordinates with the government's approach towards restructuring the government sector's role. Bahrain Handball Association made an unprecedented achievement winning the Best Asian Association in the Continent Award during the 21st meeting of the General Assembly, which was held yesterday in Antalya, Turkey, headed by Sheikh Ahmed Al Fahad. In the presence of the President of the International Handball Federation, Dr. Hassan Mustafa, and representative of handball in Asian countries. The association's president, Ali Isa Ishaqi, received the first place award of the Best Asian Association. Bahrain Association had been chosen by a special committee of the Asian Association that evaluates associations and their work programs and contributions to the development of the sport. A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Mohamed Youssef. 
Bahrain All Share Index closed this week with 10,967,000 shares worth 2,619,000 Bahraini dinars conducted through 385 transactions. Investors traded in 22 companies, four witnessed the rise in shares, 12 fell, and the rest maintained their shares. The commercial banks was the leading sector and the industrial came in second. The real estate sector in Bahrain is stabilizing, with average rents remaining stable during the third quarter of this year. Statistics show that rents were down 16.2% compared to last year. But they would also show that these declines maintained stable rates across the markets dominated by expatriates. The tourism sector will contribute at $20 billion by 2020, so a billion dollar by 2020, brought by plans of expansion of the King Fahad Bridge, which will increase traffic by 132%.